Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Back like about two, three weeks ago, I heard that Ronda, Ronda Rousey is going to be hosting uh, Saturday Night Live. I thought maybe it would be interesting for a review just like I did the Donald Trump hosting Saturday Night Live review. Because it's just something different. Uh, and I was like, well, I'm kind of glutton for punishment because Saturday Night Live has not been good for a long time. But I said, what the heck, I'd try it. I didn't know if it would even be on tonight because they have that horrific winter blizzard and storm and there's a travel uh, ban in New York City. Apparently it did go on. And uh, she had, she came on on a monologue and she said, like, uh, there's a travel ban, uh, Broadway's closed, subways are closed for the most part, and all of a sudden people are not allowed to travel around. That's why I was surprised it was on there. I don't know how people are going to get back and forth without getting in trouble. The cops. She said that's pretty much the only show in town uh, her on Saturday Night Live. The monologue was eh. The monologues not, hadn't been very good in a long time. They tried to do a little bit of singing and dancing. She couldn't sing and then she had Selena Gomez, a musical guest, singing. You know, she's there, okay, I guess. It's not my type, type of music. And they had the, before that, they had the opening skit was, uh, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. But uh, Tina Fey did, uh, they was like a Donald Trump. And um, Tina Fey did the uh, whole oh, Sarah Palin thing. And it was so badly written. It was really stupid. I mean, I would like half watch it. I just like, uh, it's going to be another train wreck this episode of Siren Live. And we um, had that. You had the opening monologue, which wasn't very good. Selena Gomez, like I said, was the musical act. I'm not a fan of hers. But she, I get it when she did it for It was okay. I don't know if she was lip syncing or not. I assume she was. Still not as bad as when Ashley Simpson lip synced. And then I think the, if something screwed up and she got caught and she did like some weird uh, karate kid move with dance or said that was, or, or some jigger. That was a dumb, I wanted to throw a brick through the damn TV when that happened. But she wasn't that bad. But she, I'm not a fan. And the first skit was uh, like a thing of Screen Actors Guild Awards, and they were doing like um, awards for uh, African American movies or something like that, like the raw, but different takes on it. And basically, it was just like a, I didn't know exactly what they were doing at first, and then I feel, realized it was a slam on diversity to the Academy, and it said, and they would like have like if a. They have like a performance by a black actor and then a white actor walked in for a second. They'd be the one nominated. And then they said at the uh, end of the thing, it was pronounced for best actor and it's all white people. Because this is about the thing about diversity in uh, Academy Awards. And they said, well, all five guy, white guys win. And it was just, instead of being funny, it was just like a statement to the Academy Awards about the diversity. You know, so it was just more of a statement to Hollywood that they did. Instead of actually going for jokes. You know, it wasn't funny anyways. And then after that, they had like a movie spoof. It was like a movie slash commercial spoof uh, where Ronda Rousey came out with this guy and, and it was like in a uh, abandoned auditorium in a high school and then she was eating and said, do you want some cereal? And she ate and she said it was kind of crunchy. She said it was dog food. And then like the mean girls came out and said, we totally tricked you and uh, do you think anyone would like you and stuff like that? And, uh, Ron and Rousey proceeded to beat the shit out of her. That was actually funny. The way they played it was actually halfway decent. Not hilarious funny, but halfway decent. It was a decent uh, skit. And usually that's like their commercial uh, commercial take, uh, take or something like that, the movie skit. And that was actually pretty decent. I didn't mind that. They did a good job on that. I was in shock. And then after that, they did Bland Man, which was awful. Like a take on The Bachelor was awful. Then they had Selena Gomez singing. She was lip syncing, you know. I didn't think too much of it. They had the news, and the news was terrible. And it was just like little skits or little, like, j uh, jabs at Donald Trump. And other stuff. I mean, without really telling jokes. And then they have, like, two characters come on. And they said they had this one character speaking about something. And then it was like... And then, you know, they had the guy next to him kind of laughing at that. And none of that shit was funny. It was awful. Uh... Then after that, they had like this trial. It was supposed to be uh, HLN. And it was about like this kid that uh, was lured uh, to have sex with two teachers, I believe. 
And he was like, how happy he was in the court, how happy he was. And they showed him, like, you know, whenever they texted him to come over and stuff like that, he, like, was in a car speeding, like, a million miles out. And saying what, and they were saying what a study was and stuff like that. And he was saying, and the kids admired him and stuff. That's what he was saying in the courtroom. That was good. That was a good skit. I liked that. And then the rest of it was just awful. I mean, there was a little bit of hope. There was two good skits. Ronda Rousey did a fine job. Uh, what she was doing. Sometimes she was just in a costume, just barely saying anything, but, I mean, she actually seemed, I mean, I don't know these other comedians in Silent Live that well, except for Keenan Thompson, pretty much. Oh, Daryl Hammond. I think that was Daryl Hammond at the beginning doing the Donald Trump thing, but it was still terrible. I think it was him. Uh, oh, no, once again, it was pretty much pretty lousy. I, because of those two skits, I'm going to give it a very mild uh, 4 out of 10. And the way Ronda Rousey performed, he gets a 4 out of 10. Other than that, I mean, I'm surprised Saturday Night Live is still on the air. I mean, it's just not funny. If they actually really tried to figure out what's funny and make, there was two good skits in there. If they tried to actually try to really put an effort in and really making it funny, they might actually have something again. But I mean... As far as, like, on Inside Edition, they said Saturday Night, tickets, Saturday Night Live is, like, the hottest ticket in town, I guess, in New York. I, I, I don't see how. And then there's lots of videos on clips on YouTube that get millions of views and stuff like that, Saturday Night Live stuff. So, and I guess someone's watching it. It's just, I don't think it's that funny anymore. I haven't thought it that way in a while. They had two good skits in it. And I give it credit for that. And Ronda Rousey did a fine job. But it's just not enough to salvage the rest of the show, you know. And like I said, I was glutton for punishment by watching and doing it, but I thought, what the heck, you know, I'd give it a shot. I was pleasantly surprised with two decent scripts. And just like, I mean, people were slamming me for like Creature from Blood, like saying that sucked real bad and they couldn't make it all the way through the bad movie. But at least that was funny. That was really funny. It made me laugh. Maybe my humor is, I don't know, maybe I'm missing this whole... Like this whole Jimmy Fallon thing. I don't think he's funny at Tonight Show. I don't bother watching him. I don't want to watch Seth Meyers doing his talk show after that. I think I maybe I missed the train on some of these talk show hosts. I don't think they're very good anymore. Except for Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien's still funny. But these other guys, and I don't really watch them anymore. You know, maybe I, it's just not my humor anymore. I'm getting too old. I don't know. I thought that Creed of Blood Fort Lake was funny in that... Uh, the woman versus the ninja babies was funny, you know. I enjoyed both those. And Joe Dirt 2 sucked bad. You know. Oh, well, that's just me. But like I said, it was an okay show. There was two good skits. If it wasn't for that, I'd give it a much lower rating. Even though Ronda Rousey was fine as a host of Saturday Night Live. So, there you have it for Ronda Rousey, host of Saturday Night Live. So, until next time, bye, please. Take care of my allegiance.